Oh my god. What the hell? What are you doing here? <laughs> what the hell? Wait, did I shoot the right one or is that it right there? No, that's a fail. Uh, what? Uh, what the bubba? Huh? <laughs> a level five pronghorn just chilling right here. Are you serious? Are you cereal? What the heck? All right, well, let's grab this guy and we have ourselves a diamond pronghorn. Oh my God. <laughs> that's awesome check this guy out though look at this true rack right here absolutely beautiful looking diamond pronghorn right there man they got the horn length not very uh, symmetrical that the circumference is that's that's symmetrical but nonetheless very very cool we got our first diamond here on silver ridge peaks i keep forgetting the name of the map but it's silver ridge peaks we're probably just gonna call it silver ridge 98.10 awesome right there man i seen this herd off in the distance i i seen them running and i seen a couple of level fours so i was just gonna try and follow them and get the level fours down for some respawns or whatnot and yeah then i get in that bush because i noticed that they're coming back towards me because they were up here and the first one i spot is level five right there but nonetheless i guess we'll uh we'll either head into the lodge or we're going to just hunt around for a little bit longer i'm not too sure but we'll figure it out so i've decided that we're going to continue hunting around here on silver ridge today and i do have a pretty decent level four pronghorn right there is that him no that's not him there's a different one that i had over here that was bigger oh it's behind there we can't really see him quite yet we'll move over here a little bit and get a better shot on him so i would like to bring down all the level fours obviously because that's just more respawn potential you know what i can actually kind of see him through there so we'll just grab the seven millimeter get all the penetration penetration <laughs> um that should do it right there maybe we can reload and get another one i doubt it though uh, yeah we were a little bit too slow we probably could have uh i had a bunch of them over there just a bunch of smaller ones though i didn't have any big ones so i just let them go i had a couple of elk and there's actually a i don't even i don't even know what you call the male pronghorn i don't know if you call him a buck or what i think in today's video i'm gonna spend most of my time down here in the saguachi plains i don't know how i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but yeah the saguachi plains is what i'm gonna call it i think we'll spend most of our time down here so we can hunt pronghorn and have a better chance of finding some turkeys because you can find turkeys up in the mountains but i do typically find them like more often down here but this is an 85.30 not a bad one not a not a very big one either just wanted to get rid of the level four okay so we made it over to another lake and i do have a turkey over there there's a seven to nine and then over here over he went there he is right there i got a nine to eleven i actually spooked him a little bit earlier and i'm not even gonna worry about calling ones like this in that are nervous it's not even worth like waiting for it so i hope i can get him and where's the other one right there there we go we went over his back the first time i should bring him down 22 is a little bit weak against them at certain ranges so i hope at some point we get something like a 17 hmr or something like that would definitely be really really cool to use against the turkeys at range but i do notice that the turkeys are a little bit i guess they're broken right now i don't know they are still a lot of fun to hunt but i have not ever seen them strutting at all so there's definitely some kind of weird bug going on with them where they don't really come in and strut. They kind of just just walk in normally. Whenever you call, they just start running towards you. Um, it, it's fairly easy to get them to come in, but it's just it's not super exciting when you're calling them in and you have your decoy set up and you don't see them strutting and stuff like that. Nonetheless, they are a lot of fun to hunt, and I find that they do look really, really good. I mean, just, just look at them. The models are absolutely gorgeous this is a 440 really like the turkeys a lot they did a great job on the models and here's a smaller one they're all pretty much scoring a gold which is pretty crazy i think the minimum of a gold is four i did kill a four yesterday when i was just running around playing so that's like the closest thing i've had to a silver i don't think i've killed a single silver turkey yet minus a few hens that i've killed well i got this pretty damn nice 987 to 1200 kilo four easy planes bison here so I want to try and sneak around this way get a little bit better angle and bring this guy down i'm currently down here in like the bottom right corner of the map i went to this little lake and i went to here and i'm trying to get up to this little uh lookout point and then we'll probably stop here and maybe try and get some outposts in that general area but first we're going to stop here and try and take this guy down because he is not bad at all it's also a brown uh, a black bear there And we'll drop him right there in his tracks with a heart shot. Didn't really trust myself too much there with that heart shot because I'm not too familiar with the heart shot placement of the bison. But we put him down 
no problem at all. And there's a turkey flying right there, just a little hen. And let's see what this guy's score should be pretty decent, 179. And not bad, not as big as I thought he was going to be with that kind of estimate, but nonetheless, quite a nice one. Damn. That's a, that's a nice that's a nice nice shot if i can speak <laughs> went through the heart into the liver and into the stomach not bad at all all right well i'm gonna continue uh looks like i gotta head this direction right here about southwest west and yeah we'll see if we can find anything anything along the way there we got some elk currently fleeing unfortunately Take a blind shot through the woods and he is down we do have hunting pressure so that's not bad i really wanted to get that level four down i'm up here uh, in a new area i've just been i ran all the way from this tent down around haven't really seen i mean i've seen a good bit of things but just nothing really super exciting so i haven't really been recording it but finally found a level four rocky mountain elk and then we're gonna go this way and stop by this little lake here but we do have this guy down go find him he shouldn't be too far we hit him with a little blind shot through the woods there i had him spotted so i could kind of see like what he where he was but hold on a minute i mean just look how beautiful this map is i mean imagine if you were on like a 4k monitor and all that stuff and you were running at like super super high fps like it's just so beautiful this map is man like look at it jesus love it man absolutely beautiful map and if you don't have this game and you do have steam it is on sale for like really cheap right now on steam i'm pretty sure the base game is only like six bucks or something like that it's really cheap the complete edition that includes everything in the game I think with this map or maybe excluding this map it's originally like a hundred dollars but right now it's 50 so if you want to go grab that and get your hands on like everything that'll be great but this level four is only silver that's weird that's kind of odd i was kind of wondering that because this level four looked so much smaller than some of those level threes that i seen there that was with them kind of weird like i was saying call the wild is on sale so if you have not picked up the game yet make sure you go do so right now before the sale runs out i think it ends in like a day or two i could be wrong but yeah make sure you go grab that if you haven't already it's definitely worth it all right, so we made it over here to another lake, and I got a level four Rocky right there. And I've been trying to call him in because I wanted to hide in this bush and see if I could get him to come close enough to where I could take him out with the longbow. And I've tried it with a couple other elk that I've seen, and it just seems like the collars are not affecting the elk right now. They're literally not doing anything or reacting at all to the collars. I don't know what the deal is with that, so I'm not even going to risk um, just like spooking this guy. So we're just going to get a spot on him really quick. 149 so we'll just do it for 150 and pop him right there and i did have this guy over here if he's still there hopefully yeah he's still calm okay because there is a pretty decent level four muley he's about 250 we'll try and scooch up a little bit closer and get him down i had another one just like that over here with the elk but he spooked for some weird reason i don't know if it was because of me or if there's a mountain lion or something around here See if we can get this guy here. Yep, pretty good shot. I love the fact that they really fix the antlers not falling through the ground anymore. It really is gonna allow us to get so many cool screenshots or like thumbnails and stuff, but this isn't really the best angle, but I figure we'll try and take one here really quick. There we go, I got a couple screenshots. I might not ever use those. I might use them for something, but it's good to have little screenshots like that. But 377 monster or anything. Uh, I, I'll consider a nice one like a, a 400 plus and I don't think I've killed a single 400 plus one yet so we must be just killing all these baby level fours so I don't I'm assuming that since the level fours are not even scoring that high that I've been killing I feel like the level five Rocky Mountain Elk are gonna be something that's pretty rare but I guess only time will tell and let's run over here and grab this mule deer and I don't really know where else I want to head go up here somewhere we'll figure it out here's that mule deer and another thing they did with the mule deer is they increase the size of them in the lodge and actually in like the game they, their bodies are just bigger now which is good because mule deer are pretty big deer they're you know they're probably like double the size of a whitetail i don't know i've never really seen one in real life but i do know that they are some pretty big freaking deer and they definitely look much better now so i think we're gonna hunt around a little bit longer and then we're gonna head into the lodge and i've made a decision that we're gonna use the Saseka safari lodge i know i said i was gonna use the spring creek manor but i just really don't like that lodge i love this i love the safari lodge i have a whole nother room in there that has like no trophies in it and it has just a bunch of plaques on the wall so we'll probably dedicate that to some of our silver ridge peaks trophies 
So, yeah, that's what we're going to do at the end of this video. All right, let's see if we can... Did we drop him in his tracks? Uh, no, we didn't drop him, but he's about to be dropped. There, we went down right there. Level 4 Bighorn. Figure we take him out over here at this lake. I ran out of breath. There we go. Finally caught my breath. I just kept choking. I don't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> I don't even really think this is a big four. And actually, yeah, that's actually a pretty nice four there. 134. Eh, never mind. Not really. He looked... Wow, look at the curl. I love that curl. It's just I don't think he has the mass. That's why he's kind of a, a lower scoring four. But looks beautiful nonetheless. I, I've said nonetheless a lot in this video. I'm going to stop saying that. <laughs> I just realized. I've probably said that like four times today. He's a 93.80. Really cool looking. I love the beige. They're not like a rare or anything. Fairly common. Killed quite a few of these beige mountain goats, but they look so cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we made it to the lodge finally. We had a pretty good hunt out there on the Silver Ridge Peaks. Had a lot of fun. We got ourselves a diamond pronghorn, but I wanted to come in here and show you guys what I meant by the animals or the mule deer look a little bit bigger. And you can obviously tell, like he looks so much bigger than what he did. I mean, you guys might not be able to tell if you haven't really seen this before, but I've came in this room multiple times and seen this guy. And I can definitely tell he looks much bigger. Even the small guy here looks bigger. So we're going to use this room for our Silver Ridge Peaks trophies, I think. I don't know if we'll be able to throw everything in here that we get. We might have to use some plaques out, out there in the other rooms because I do have quite a bit more open plaques that I haven't used. But I just want to use this trophy lodge because I just like it so much. We still have a lot of room in here and I really just want to fill up this entire thing as much as I can and then we'll create another lodge. I just love this one so much. I like how it looks and all that good stuff but we're gonna start off in here with probably this plaque right here we, we can always change it but i think we're gonna put the pronghorn up there let's go through all the poses here generally the same as like the white tail ones and stuff it's just a different animal so let me just find the one i want so he can go there and obviously it just doesn't really look right right now because there's just he's the only one there so once we fill this out we can put turkeys here on this one we can put more pronghorns we can put the mule deer here i'm pretty sure we can put the black bear and then we can put the elk i think we can put elk on here no i don't think we can put elk i'm pretty sure elk has to go here so yeah i think that's what we're gonna do for now this room definitely has a long way to go but we have a lot of trophies to throw in here as time goes by we get a brand new map with some brand new animals and i'm very excited to see where this room will go in the future but here's the turkey just a placeholder gold and then there is our diamond 98 point whatever the fuck <laughs> pronghorn right there and i put the seven mil underneath them just because that is what we killed him with so very cool hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already it helps me out a bunch and i'll see you all in the next one later